What's good, what's good, what's good, family? Happy Monday. Um, welcome back to another mental health vlog. Um, appreciate everybody tuning in. Uh, today, uh, as you can see in the title, um, I got accepted into Howard. I'm gonna be talking about that. But um, before we get to that, I thought I'd take you guys like, on like a journey of guess like my college journey and how I got into grad school. So I thought that would be helpful, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just to give y'all like a background of like my educational background because uh, yeah, I was, I never thought I'd be going to grad school. Let's just put it like that. Um, so yeah, we gonna get into that. If you're new to the channel, please do me a solid, hit that subscribe button, uh, like the video, go back and watch all the other vlogs. Uh, you can see what we've been talking about. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be you know, kind of short and sweet. Uh, just a basic how I got into Howard. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so my educational background. Um, I say let's start at high school. Uh, I don't need to go to through elementary and middle school, um, but high school. Uh, I I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. I went to Frank H. Peterson. Uh, well, that's where I graduated. I went to William and Reigns my freshman year, and then sophomore through senior year, I went to Frank H. Uh, I went there for aviation, and yeah, that was that. But uh, let's go to high school. So high school was i mean if we just being honest high school was real easy for me um i knew all the work even if i didn't do the work i knew they would let me make it up and then i would just make it up so it is what it is i, I mean i was never did any homework like i said never did any homework always passed all my tests Cause I mean that's pretty much what school is. You pass the test, like you showing knowledge that you know the subject. So if I'm passing the test, then that's when they were like, "Oh, you passing all the tests?" So I mean, we'll let you make up this work, and then that's when I would make up the work. But other than that, high school was easy. Um, I never took an SAT or ACT ever to this day. Never have, um, because college after high school just wasn't in my plans i um i applied to like a technical school uti out in orlando i wanted to be a mechanic um but that didn't work out because at the time i had long hair i had dreads and it was the dude came to my house and we did like the interview and he was basically like oh you're gonna have to cut your hair and i was like nah, I'm, why i gotta cut my hair to go to school that don't make no sense so that was even that option was out i think it was like halfway halfway through my senior year in high school uh i decided to join the military uh the recruiter always came by os1 flores he always came to the school he always talked to me and at that time i was like nah bro i'm not going to the military boom 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 i'm gonna figure something else out so uh he stayed consistent so like i said halfway through senior year um i decided to go to the military so i i started the process i had cut my hair i had a fro just like this no cap when i first cut my hair i had an afro um so i started the process and then i was 17 at the time 
Uh, so my mom actually had to sign my paperwork for me to go to the military in the first place. She was basically like, oh, you sure this is what you want to do? Woo, woo, woo. I'm like, yeah, this is what I want to do. I got to go out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to travel the world. And yeah, that was my plan. Travel the world. I mean, I knew they had benefits to pay for school. Um, but like I said, school wasn't even on my mind at the time. So graduate. When we, we graduated? June june 2010 um i did not leave for boot camp till december so i had a little job woo, woo, woo. um boot camp december i remember it was right before christmas too it was december 14th so i had i spent christmas and new year's in boot camp but that's a whole nother story so navy four years got out 2014 um and then i was like when i got out it was some different circumstances i i'll do another video on my whole naval career i'll do another video on that um but for the purposes of this when i got out in the military i really didn't have a plan so i was going i said you know what i know i can go to school they're gonna pay for me to go to school i'm not gonna have no debt because that was my biggest concern having all that student loan debt no sir can't do it so got out 2014 i went to um i went to a community college tidewater community college virginia beach campus and like i said to this day i've still never taken an sat or act when i got to the community college they told me oh all you have to do is take a placement test and then we good so I had to take a placement test for english i had to write a paper and then it was like some test that they gave so had to do that and then math which is my subject i excel in math uh placement on the math and i i went straight to pre-cal yeah i went straight into pre-calculus um from being out of school for four years i that math was still up there uh so yeah community college i did two semesters there i mean i had good grades i took spanish i took all these but it was like all the basic classes i i hadn't decided what my major was gonna be at all but community college was not for me so i'm like i had got a, a job offer from general electric basically doing the same thing i was doing in the military uh working on engines but instead of working on the engines for the ship i'll be working on engines for power plants so i'm like boom i could do that no problem so worked that job for two years and then after that i had to resign some things some life things happened had to resign uh and then i was like man i might as well i started school so why not finish it but i was not going back to the community college uh, so I was located in uh, Norfolk, Virginia. The closest schools, I mean the top, pretty much the top schools in Norfolk, uh, Old Dominion University and Norfolk State University. From my time in the military, um, I used to spend a lot of time at ODU, parties and different stuff like that. So I was like, I don't even like the vibe of ODU for real. I mean, I, it's a good school, but that i wasn't on that so nsu norfolk state was the second choice so i applied got accepted uh came in did all that paperwork and yeah i uh decided my major was uh business uh with a focus in entrepreneurship because i mean i worked in i was in the military i worked for one of, i mean general electric the top freaking company in the world type stuff but that wasn't me i wanted to work for myself uh so yeah entrepreneurship was the route that i took uh and then my junior year my junior year i kind of like i was I, I wanted to get into psychology uh i was going to change my major to psychology uh but the advisor told me pretty much like if you change your major over now you basically got to start over as a freshman and take all these classes um i was like nah ain't no way because this gi bill gonna run out and i'm not coming out of pocket for nothing 
Uh, so basically they were like, oh, oh, you can do a minor in psychology and basically you can use that to, I mean, if you wanted to go to grad school and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, I got the minor in psychology. Uh, it was like, I think six classes I had to take. But since I was already done with my business classes, I decided to take more psych classes because to get your full um, GI Bill post 9-11 benefits, you got to be a full time student. So that's a minimum of 12 credits full time student. So I only had two classes left. So I decided to take two more um, psychology classes just to boost up my my transcripts because at this time I, I was interested in going to grad school um yeah my whole college experience it just like changed my my outlook on college and education and stuff like that because like I said growing up college I I was that was not even in the plans but once I got into college based especially NSU um because community college it wasn't it so going to nsu pretty much like i was around you know what i'm saying it's an hbcu so you already know what that is you know what that environment is you're around people that look like you um and not even just look like you just come from the same backgrounds you come from like single parent homes different stuff like that like it's we pretty much like the same so um yeah went to nsu graduated um may 2021 graduated and then i was like bro i'm i want to go to grad school so this is where it gets even crazier that i got accepted into howard so Howard is the only grad school that I applied to. Only one. I didn't apply to any other grad schools. Um, Howard, the only one. Applied to Howard. Uh, I have some connections uh, through my fraternity. I have a fraternity incorporated. Uh, and yeah, I started the process. I literally like on a sheet of paper, I wrote out step for step what i had to do for grad school uh when the due dates were uh just different stuff like that so recommendation later letters i wrote down when i sent the email out to the people who i'll try to get letters from like i just broke down step for step what i really had to do for grad school to get in and so i wrote the essays i got the essays revised and just different stuff like that so like I said, only school I applied to, I was very, very nervous because one, the minimum requirement GPA was 3.0. I had a 2.98. My first couple semesters at NSU was, I was going through a lot. I was depressed, all kind of stuff. So yeah, I was going through a lot. I was barely passing classes. I was getting D's, but that was all in the beginning. My last couple semesters, I was 3.5, 3.7, boom, 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 knocking it out. So like I said, 3.0 was the minimum. I had a 2.98. I still decided, hey, why not? Why why not apply? I'm a, either, they either gonna say yes or no. There's, there's only two options. So I applied to Howard for social work. And then, yeah, I was just waiting. I, I sent my stuff in early because I had already did my checklist. I was working on my checklist before I even graduated undergrad. So I was just working on that checklist, knocking essays out, boom, 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 recommendation letters, recommendation letters, yeah. So got those letters and then went on with the process. It was a waiting, waiting process. So I had to wait it out. I was nervous, but at the same time, I was, I kept a positive mindset. I said, I'm going to get accepted into Howard. If you see in some of my other videos, I said, when I get accepted to Howard, I'm getting accepted to Howard. And that's like, this is like my favorite hoodie. So support black colleges. 
Um, this company was founded by, I think, I want to say four students that went to Howard. So that was kind of like my manifestation. I wore this hoodie. I wear this hoodie to this day. You'll see multiple pictures with me in this hoodie. No one ever knew that's why, but that's why that was like kind of like my self manifestation of me getting into Howard. And hey, it worked. So, uh, like I said, I got accepted into Howard. Um, when did I get the email? Today is Monday. I got the email, I want to say, oh, Friday evening. It was like I was on my way to bed. This is how crazy it is. I was on my way to sleep. I was going to sleep. And something told me, go check your email. I'm like, well, I mean, okay. I'll go check my email. First email at the top, Howard as missions. I was, I'm like, yo, this it. This is what we've been waiting for. It's either going to be a yes or a no. So I'm like, I right, bet. I open the email. Congratulations. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, I wanted to cry. I'm like, yo, cause it's like, it's crazy. Like this story, this journey is like, I could have never pictured this from growing up. Like I said, I never thought about going to college. And now look at here, I'm about to go to Howard University for grad school. Like, it's just crazy. So like, I say that to say this, like if you have a dream, a goal, no matter when that dream or goal comes to you, like, just do what you got to do. Like, it was so simple. I was so nervous. I was scared for the whole grad school process because I don't know anyone like me personal in my family, like whoever went to grad school, went to college, period. Um, my cousin, she went to college. Um... But I, I didn't even ask her or nothing that because it was undergrad. But it's like it's just different. So I'm like, yo, I really got into Howard. And it's like I put in the work. So like I'm shocked, but why am I shocked? Because I did what I had to do. I did the essays. I mean the GPA wasn't 3.0, but hey, 2.98, that's close enough. And then so yeah, my essays, I pff, rocked out on the essays. And here we are, I'm about to go to Howard starting in January for social work. I'm so excited. Um, I put in all the work. I have a few more steps like to actually accept the acceptance. But yeah, um, starting in January, Howard, social work. Uh, tomorrow I start the training for my job, uh, entry level little social work position that I told y'all about in a previous video. But I'm just so excited, yo, like it's, like everything is coming together and yeah, I'm just happy. Uh, it's a good, good, good feeling. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, I appreciate y'all tuning in rocking with me on these mental health Mondays. I, pr I hope that, um, you following along helps you on your own mental health journey. Uh, I will be dropping more content uh so stay tuned if you aren't subscribed please do me a solid hit that subscribe button like the video and until next time spread love not hate peace